Hey guys, it is Brido here, and welcome back to our XCOM Enemy Unknown walkthrough series. It's uh, been a little bit since we uh, jumped back into it, but I've decided uh, I'm going to try and play as much as I can through the next couple days. Hopefully I actually get the series done in the next couple days, so there will be uh, a little bit more videos coming up in the next couple days, and I'll stream it out over uh, the next 3, 4, 5 days or so. I'm not guaranteeing that it'll be at the end of the game. I really don't know how long this game is, but I want to get down to back into playing it because I've only been playing it a little bit on and off uh, the past week or so. So I'm going to I'm gonna sit down the next couple days and play a good solid five or six hours each day, really plugging away at it and uh, hopefully uh, get some serious progress for our, uh, our walkthrough here. So just starting off this video, I want to talk a little bit about you guys obviously being a part of the series. I finally took the time to add you guys in. And because there's a lot of you guys asking to be a part of it, I decided that I was just going to uh, put your guys' names in a hat because I thought that would be kind of fun. And I, I threw them in there and uh, pulled them out randomly. We had uh, five spots. So we got Eric Holst up here. He was one of the guys. Joseph Marquette, uh, Alex Walter, Nimble Tang, and uh, Derek Barber are uh, the five people that we have added. And then the rest of the people are all official people now. So it's either uh, friends of mine or you guys from the YouTube. So... We are good to go with the players that we do have, and uh, if you're not on there yet, uh, do not worry. I am very sure that we're going to have more people die, uh, so I will add you in in the future. I'll just continue to pull people out because I still have the names uh, and whatnot. Uh, but for this episode, though, we're going to ju just uh, jump pretty much back into it because we have, as you can see right there, a couple things on uh, the, the back burner that are going to be coming in the next couple days, especially that council report, get ourselves some extra money. Right now we really are, are broke, so we'll just uh, go ahead here and uh, get to that. We get our satellite uplink, which is nice, but we still need those satellites, which are uh, 16 days away. And we have the Titan armor as well, um, which is pretty cool. I'm really excited to use it, but the only problem with the Titan armor is that, or the Titan armor that is, uh, is that we really don't have um, that much to uh, make it happen at this point. We don't have that much money uh, to spend on it. But uh, I really want to uh, get this one to go because that is the next uh, priority for us to do. So I'm going to hold off on actually doing any more upgrades because we really do not have the money uh, to make anything else happen. I'll save up for this one and then we'll start making that happen because that's uh, the priority for us uh, going ahead in the story here. You can see in the situation room, that's what we uh, are supposed to do. And then intercept an overseer UFO, assault the crash overseer UFO. So that's kind of the, the train of thought that we're supposed to be following. And... Uh, been sitting back on that, but we're going to get back into uh, pushing the story ahead and uh, continuing on with that. So we got our council report here, and uh, we've dropped from an A to a B to a C, so we're getting a little bit worse, and the reason for that is we get, uh, let those overseer uh, UFOs escape us, unfortunately. Uh, but we should be able to handle that in the future. Just right now, we're uh, not really handling that the best that we could possibly do. Uh, but besides from that, from that though, uh, the panic level is pretty low, which is nice to see. So uh, hopefully with that we'll keep that down and uh, hopefully with that upgrade in the near future we'll be able to uh, work on uh, getting that up for us and uh, continuing on with the main story as I said. But for the meantime though I want to upgrade what we currently have just a little bit. I'm going to um, bring on uplink targeting, or actually not uplink targeting, UFO tracking so we have a little bit more time when we're fighting the UFOs um, and I think that will help us a bit there. Also, defense matrix uh, dodge. So those are two things that might come in handy when we're in the air. Um, and we'll put. Uh, let's see. Actually, it's just it's an open thing that we can choose. So we'll just leave that as is for now. Uh, and we'll go ahead here. Okay, we got a uh, UFO in Australia, uh, and we'll send out the Raven Four for that mission. Probably gonna fail because he's a medium overseer, but you know we'll give it a shot. Better to do uh, at least give it a try rather than um, let them escape unawares. But I think if we combine these two, we can we can make it happen. Oh, darn it! Lost one of our interceptors once again. That's another thing I'll buy. I'll buy a couple more ships for us because we've uh, dropped a couple of them, but. That's that's pretty much the story as is right now. We're gonna we're gonna lose out because we just don't have the the right ships to uh, fight these guys right now. I'm not gonna send another out to die at this point. We'll just go ahead here, probably till an abduction comes. 
No, I don't want to do that. Commander, we've lost radio contact. Okay, satellites in five days, which is good. Contact detected. Uh, hmm. We'll go for it once again. See if we can make it happen. I'll just abort though if we we look like we're gonna lose it. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're in pursuit. Closing on target. Yeah, it's not even happening. No way. Okay, so our, our satellite satellites are up, which is are sweet. Um, let's go to the situation room, put those satellites up. That'd be nice to put it in Mexico, but let's let's continue to spread it out. Keep our um, general threat levels down. Okay, we'll put one in Russia. Already got one in Asia, so we're good over here. And we'll put one in South Africa, I guess. You do Nigeria, actually. Things are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. Use at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Okay, so there we go. And we'll just move one of our guys over here, transfer it to South... Actually, not South America. Oh, we forgot to put one in South America, my bad. That's okay, though. There, Africa. Let's see exactly. So I got two in North America, one in Africa, two in Europe, and then one in Asia, which is all right. Um, <laughs> but I really should have put one in uh, South America. But we'll just give them a little bit more love if need be when it comes to those interception missions. Um, but with that said, though, let's go down to engineering and as well, we'll make we'll make a couple satellites. Commander. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll leave it for we now. We really do not have that much money. We'll just uh, go ahead here, see if we can get ourselves a mission. Contact detected. Okay, so we got ourselves something here. And um, for this one, let's bring along most of our main guys. We'll all spring on the Goliath if you guys wanted to see the Goliath. We'll get the Goliath out there in action. And um, we'll bring two snipers on this mission instead of one. So we'll bring Kevin and Eric out there. We will go with the sniper, support, assault, heavy, and yeah, there we go. Um, but last thing is we'll, we'll edit him out so he has a little bit better options. Give him the better armor, and then... We'll also get him a sniper rifle that's not completely crap too. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, there we go. So two sniper rifles ready to go. And we'll put that on him so he has something else to use there. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Um, oh, actually, not 100% good. Let's give him a scope as well. Because he has a beauty aim. 98 aim? I will take that. Okay. Now we're ready. Ready to take this head on. Contact. I'm going to take this one nice and slow, though, because that's that looks like a, a bevy of trouble. Those discs, I don't like those discs, and uh, those uh, sectoid commanders, as you saw in the last episode, can really uh, screw with you if you let them. So, we'll try and uh, stay away from the mind control and try and stay away from getting blown to bits by those uh, those drones. 
But going into this mission, I wanted to talk a little bit about the walkthroughs I'll be doing for my channel, because uh, this is obviously a, a one that I've been doing for a bit now. I, I wanted to do it a little bit quicker, but I just kind of, I've fallen back on, you know, not doing as much, and as I've said, I'm going to be uh, really powering through it in the next little bit here, trying to get up as much as I can so that there'll be way more videos and we can get through it. And the reason why I want to get through it too is that I'm going to be doing other walkthroughs coming up and I don't want, you know, this to fall on the back burner and, you know, get done, but maybe in like a month or so, I really want to possibly, like I said in the in a previous video, get it finished within the week, week and a half. We're still in that area where in the next week, if I can get it done, then that'd be really sweet. So that's kind of my goal. I don't really know how long the game is actually, so I can't say for sure, but uh, a little bit of a blessing in disguise that this week I was going to be doing um, Lego Lord of the Rings and I was also going to be doing Assassin's Creed 3. So those are two uh, games I was excited to play. But Lego Lord of the Rings actually got uh, delayed, which is really interesting because it was last minute delay. Uh, you know, usually you don't see that happen for games anymore. Um, but yeah, it got delayed till November 13th. So uh, with that said, that game is not out for a while. So that's out of the question for playing for a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm not, not doing that one, obviously. And the other one too that actually I got, I went to the midnight release, I was super excited to play it, um, was uh, Assassin's Creed 3, and I've been really enjoying it, I've been playing maybe into about 5 hours or so right now. Great game, um, yeah, I got more to talk about it, obviously, but uh, it, it's, it's been interesting playing it, to say the least. But uh, with that said too though, I was going to be doing a walkthrough series for that, and Interestingly enough, uh, I guess Ubisoft has some sort of ban on uh, people uploading uh, YouTube videos of uh, their their content, essentially, where uh, my video got blocked, um, and it was like a worldwide block. I've gotten blocks before every once in a while for like just stuff that I used to do in the past. Um, but this was like a legitimate, like, you, your stuff, you can't post it at all, and I just took it down because I didn't want to have something up that, you know... Uh, was a negative standing for my account, so uh, I did that there, and I took that down. I'm still looking into, you know, if that was just because of it uh, having an NDP, I believe it's called, where the game wasn't officially out in all territories yet or all uh, places, so that might have been the reason why it wasn't letting me post. Um, and I'm trying to post one more time, but if it it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. So instead of me doing uh, like these two other series right back to back and kind of making this week extremely hectic and muddled for uh, YouTube content, I, it's turned out where I'm probably I'm going to be doing no series at all, so um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see essentially if uh, what happens with that, but in the meantime still, you know, even if I do uh, do the Assassin's Creed 1, I've actually played through a good portion of the game, so just be me uploading, so I've got plenty of time to play uh, XCOM right now, and I really want to get through it too, because I've had so much fun playing it, and I really enjoyed the fact that you guys have enjoyed the series, which has been great, obviously, I mean, you guys have been fantastic, I appreciate all the support, especially I was extremely surprised when I asked, you know, if you guys wanted to be a part of the squad, how many of you guys really wanted to be a part of, the, of the, the game we're playing here, so, you know, I'll definitely uh, get this up for you guys, because you guys want to see it, I think, so, um, yeah, that'll, that'll be up, and, you know, I'll continue to post these up uh, over the next, you know, two, three, four, five days, and hopefully get through it all as well, like I said, so, um, yeah, but that's kind of where I'm at with everything, and I'm going to probably be posting a video essentially with what stuff I'll be doing uh, coming up uh, not too soon uh, from now, because, uh, you know, with uh, the season the way it is, there's a lot of uh, games, a lot of interesting stuff coming out not too uh, long from now. There's, you know, all the stuff in November, which is November really isn't that far away. It's at the uh, end of, uh, you know, October already as it is. So, you know, there's that coming. There's, like, Far Cry. There's, um... Uh, there's Wii U games, I'm considering getting a Wii U at the start, so that would be something as well, but there's also, uh, I, I can't name them all off, top, off the top of my head here, kind of on the spot thinking about, but Hitman Absolution, PlayStation All-Stars, um, hmm, there's other ones I, I can't think of at the moment, but there's there's actually quite a bit out there, so it'll be, you know, plenty of uh, walkthrough series, so you guys can check those out if you like my walkthroughs, I'll uh, be posting those up in similar fashion, maybe a little bit quicker, and the pace, similar to what I did with um, with the unf Unfinished Swan, I did that one as quick as I could. Uh, and, you know, that was a pretty short game, but I, this one was obviously, I went into it knowing it was a longer game, so I kind of took my time a little bit more, but I, I'll try and, um, for future as well, try and get stuff as, up as much as I can. But, you know what, no, enough talking about that, because right now we got something on our hands right here, and um, I need to focus on it, to say the least. 
Uh, let's see what we can do. It's a long shovel. Let's take it. See if we can take it on. Ooh, that's a big hit. There we go. Fifty-nine percent. Hmm. That's a long shot, but seventy percent shot's pretty good. Only four though. Okay. Nearly there. I'll send this rocket their way. Maybe take them down. Nope. No dice. I think when they fly, that pretty much makes them immune, but I wanted to give that a shot. Still worth a chance, right? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's down and out, guys. That's affirmative. So pretty good start, I'd say. Actually, well, let's get her up there. That's where the Goliath is, never mind. We'll just overwatch her for this turn then. <laughs> just a little bit of fireworks there. Oh, never mind, that wasn't the Goliath, it was just a, another one there. We'll move the Goliath up a little bit more. Still doesn't have a shot, though. It's kind of interesting, because it doesn't really have a cover option, so... It's a little bit more dangerous to use it. But it can also be used as a... Kind of a... Something to be a little bit more of a deflection tool when we're playing. Took the tree down, but not that guy. Moving. 44. Nope. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. Better shot from here? Nope. 45. No dice. Well, this one could work. Should have just gone with this one in the first place. What? Come on. Can you get it, though, all the way back there? Farthest guy away gets the job done. Well, that's what squad dice, or squad sight does for you guys. Okay, so let's let's take this gently. We'll get everybody that is out of cover right now into cover. Aye, aye, Commander. Make sure that we're safe first. First and foremost. Uh, I got my eyes on. Moving out. Got it covered. I'll move the shiv up just a bit. Just a tidge. I'm ready to see what type of heat it packs too. Looks like I could do some massive damage. And we'll bring Holst up. Not too far, but we'll give him a, a little bit of a run. Actually, yeah, we'll just bring him up that way. A little bit over the side, but you know that still works. He gets a squad sight, so no harm done moving up there. A bit of run for the sniper there. And we're good. Hopefully uh, not another disc floating around out here. Oh. My wishes have been granted. <laughs> Fifty-five. Let's take it. 
Looked like I missed by a mile. Let's see if we can get any rockets up in there. That should work, I think. Oof. Definitely works. Absolute beamer of a shot here if we can get this one. I'm liking this holst thus far. Two absolute long bombs. Let's see if Walter can keep up in the sniper front. I'm liking these snipers in this mission too. Doing a pretty good job. We'll get our assault girl up there. They're trying to pull back. Okay. Twelve percent. Fifty five. No shot. Sixty one. And our guy all the way back here, 68. I love this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Eric. Uh, 